Hey YouTube, this is Oasis Rising, and uh, we're going to start off with a really cool new project. So this project is um, going to be a display board for my uh, Kings of War um, Mushroom Forest Elves. And uh, I, I wanted to make a really cool display board um, with big mushrooms, trees, and... Um, spots for like LEDs so it can glow and be really cool and um, my my first display board that I made I ended up tossing that was the one with the big mountain um, because it was really unwieldy and I didn't really like how it turned out um, so I wanted to start fresh with this one and I, I needed to figure out a way to kind of map out where everything was gonna go because I was afraid of the, the mountain one was really big, but it felt really cramped, like I couldn't fit everything on there um, that I wanted to. So I start off with this one with a concept drawing. I'm not sure if you can see that, where uh, we've got some four shamblers here and the tree man up there. So the four shamblers I want to have like in this dirt cave or mud cave and then the tree man like up on top and then these big, big... Uh, uh, trees and mushroom trees up there and uh, Yeah, of course obviously this is not to scale so um, to make sure I had everything that I wanted or Make sure everything could fit I um, <laughs> Cut out all the different units into squares so then I laid them out like I wanted them to be Kind of arranged and figured out. Okay, put the dragon riders up there. The tree men in the middle. We have some bolt throwers over here. Whoop. Um, these are all labeled. Some. Oh, let's see. The the four shamblers are gonna kind of go underneath the tree man because they're like in this cave under the tree man. Then we've got some palace guard right in the middle. Some silver breeze kind of charging up from the front. And Hunters of the Wild here. And then we've got these archers, so we'll put those kind of over here. So that's that was kind of my plan. So then what I did was oops. Lay out some pieces of paper. Um I've already cut these out, so um these are just four pieces of graph paper that I laid on top and then kind of drew some outlines of some features that I wanted to have. Um, So then I decided, okay, which which levels do we want things on? So we've got kind of our our lowest level here, and then actually an even lower level for some water here. Um, this is going to be the kind of ledge where the the cave is going to open up onto. So this is going to be maybe a little bit higher than this one. Um, then this is going to be where the archers are. So it's going to be kind of a middle height. This one's going to be another height, um, that's where the dragon riders are going to go, and then the tree men and the bolt throwers are going to be the highest up there. So, um, yeah, so let's see. And then I also, I'm going to uh, magically make these guys on top. There, so now everything is on top, and um, I've got these two extra little pieces of um, display board area here and these just kind of represent like uh, where the cliff face will be kind of sloped up um, and this one I want to do like a waterfall like so waterfall down from the very top down into the slow uh, water along the cliff so I'm just gonna take those off because they don't quite fit into what I'm thinking because I don't want to 
include slopes and things to the areas where I want things to sit because I want those areas to be flat. Um, cool, so this is where everything is laid out. Uh, and then I wanted to add some other features like uh, trees and mushrooms. So I'll get those added in a second. All right, so now we see uh, all of the trees and tree mushrooms, mushroom trees, um, kind of planned out. And there's also like tree stumps. That's what these star thingies are. Um, those will have little mushrooms on them and then smaller clumps of mushrooms here and here. Um, so these circle things are the mushroom trees. Most of that's in the back. Let's see if I can arrange this. There we go. Um, and then these things that look like fried eggs are trees. Um, and where the trunk will go. So there's room for all of the stuff to sit underneath it. Um, so that's kind of the, the general layout plan. Oh, and this is like a log going from the uh, base level to the level where the archers are. So it'll be kind of sloped up. Um, so this gave me a really good clear idea of where things needed to go um, in this kind of plane looking from the top. But I really didn't have a sense of how it was going to work uh, in a vertical sense. So like um, at this point I didn't really have a good idea of how high all these different levels had to be. So what I did next was to build a cardboard model out of it. So I'm going to go grab that and get that set up in a sec. Okay, so here is the cardboard kind of model. This thing is not very sturdy and um, is not meant to be kept around, but uh, the whole idea was to kind of get a representation of how the different heights would work. So here is kind of the general picture of it. Um, got our base layer here, then our water layer there, um, which again is not very <laughs> robust. We have this cave here. Um, so I needed to know how high to make the cave and how wide because of the, the mushrooms. And then we've got this ledge here. This is going to have the uh, archers and then the dragon riders here and then the tree man and the bolt doors up here. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down our templates on this to see to see um, how everything's going to fit together. So here it is with the all the templates laid on it so you can kind of see a little bit easier where everything is going to fit. Um, one spot that's going to be a little tight is for the archers because we're going to need this sloped a little bit here. But because I laid this out already, I know that's going to be an issue. Um, and I, I can kind of better see where everything's going to fit vertically. The trees are going to be pretty tall because the dragon riders are, are up maybe five or six inches at least. And then the tree man is pretty tall. Whoops, see, not very robust. Um, but anyway, from here, <laughs> all I needed to do was get a clear idea of how tall things needed to be. Then in my sketchbook, I could do a detailed sketch of more accurately how things were gonna fit together. So here's our original sketch, which is upside down, um, which had the right ideas, but didn't have the right scale. And then I moved it over to this sketch um, this is just, this is missing all of the units, but this is kind of what I want for the entire scene. So we've got the three trees in the back, a bunch of big mushrooms, and some smaller mushroom clumps, the little stumps, and the cave, the waterfall, and the water feature, you can see how deep that's going to be, and then the uh, stump there, and maybe some other mushrooms sticking out the side of the, the cliff faces. And then I could figure out how uh, tall everything is going to have to be. Um, based on the unit sizes and the size foam that I have um, to make it a little easier. Uh, yeah, and then I also, let's see, sketched out a view from the top. Even though that's kind of the clearest view I had, um, this is kind of an overall view of the top because my uh, model obviously isn't going to stick together. So I did take a few pictures of it, so I'll know from there, but this will kind of be the top view. So. Um, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.